All right, buckle up, math fans. We're going to get right into our multiplication algorithm today. We're going to be talking about a slightly more complicated problem because we're going to be using regrouping. So we'll knock out a problem here, 364 times 4. Uh, first things first in my classroom, we're going to look at that number. We're going to break it apart. We've got to see every number and be able to decompose it right on the spot into expanded form and value form, unit form, whatever you, whatever you want we're going to be able to do. Uh, remember that we're multiplying, we don't just multiply by digits, we multiply by the digits values here. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now. And let's just jump in, let's actually solve each one of these right now. 4 times 4 is 16, 60 times 4, this is mental math with zeros, so it should be 240. Your students need to get pretty sharp at this, uh, so it's going to be 1200. And what we're seeing here is that when we multiplied, the highest place value in this problem was in the 1's, but our product is in the 10's. Our highest place value here was in the tens, but our product is in the hundreds, and in the next problem, our product moves into the thousands. That tells us that we're going to have to regroup uh, during the course of this problem. And now that we see a product of 16, we want to be able to understand that we're going to be adding uh, one of this 10 over to the product that's in the tens place. We're going to be uh, giving two hundreds over to the product that's in the hundreds place. Uh, can't label enough and then we're going to be moving 1,000 over to the product that's in the thousands place. And this is going to make a little more sense. We're going to show a more visual representation of this. I know it's a lot of writing, so we're going to kind of magically clean this up right now. Uh, this is the same problem. I just have little explanations here. I have the 4 times 4 is 16, and below it it says this is 16 ones. That means it's 1, 10, and 6 ones. We're going to bring our 1, 10 over to the tens place value and add it to the product that occurs in the tens. And that's very important. It's the orders of operation. When you're multiplying, you multiply first and then you add. PEMDAS, however you want to teach it, wherever your students are um, in the area of learning orders of operation. So we're going to move our 16 over here. This is just another way to look at it and scaffold it for your students before you're actually teaching them the uh, standard algorithm. And you can see our ones is in the tens place right now. It's going to be added to the product of 60 times 4. And remember, it's not 6 times 4, it's 60 times 4. That's why this answer is 240. That's why the zero goes there. And then our, our final one is going to be our 1200. We're going to move it over. And you can see that our two, that we we're going to share the 200s. It's already in the hundreds place. It's ready to be added to the product. And now we're ready to go. We're going to bring this uh, equal sign up here. Let me just make it a slightly bigger. And we did not have to re uh, regroup over in the ones place, so we just get to add this straight down. So 6 plus 0 plus 0 is going to be 6. Uh, 1 plus 4 is going to be 5. This is pretty straightforward. Make sure they have their operation sign there, unlike Mr. O'Connor who forgets at times. And then we'll do 2 plus 2, we'll get 4. And when we have 1 plus zero. Remember, we brought it over to the product that was in the thousands place. Well, the product was zero, so we're just adding it to zero, and that's why we have a one. So 1,456. Uh, and this is me just being a bonehead. I tend to forget doing steps like this, so I uh, kind of enjoy having my class call me out on my mistakes. Uh, and by doing so, it's a win-win situation because they check their own procedure. Well, let's look at this side by side so they can get a, an idea of what's going on here. Uh, our visual representations on the left are more of an expanded form uh, on the left side. We now look at 4 times 4, which is going to be 16. We break that apart as 6 ones. The 6 will remain. We add the 1 10 to the tens place. And 6 tens times 4 would give us 24 tens plus one more 10. Gives us 25 tens. The 5 will remain in the tens place. And the 2 is regrouped to the hundreds place because 25 tens is the same thing as saying 2 hundreds and 5 tens. So now we have 3 hundreds multiplied by 4 will give us 12 hundreds plus 2 more will give us 14 hundreds. So our 4 is going to remain in the hundreds, which because 14 hundred is the same thing as saying 1,000 and 400. There's our 1,000 that we've regrouped over. There's nothing to add it to, so it's 1,456. So there's a couple ways to look at it, scaffold it as you need it.